Hi guys, Graham here and welcome to Traditional Flash. Uh, sorry I haven't done one of these in a while, um, it has been a long time, probably over a month, but um, it's kind of been hard to get time recently, but anyway, this is uh, what I'm going to be doing today. It's going to be a kid slug and uh, a couple of flowers each side. If you don't know what a kid slug is, I will explain, but um, let's get started because in this video I'm actually showing the line work as well. Um, now I just decided to show you the line work in this one just to kind of, you know, give you a better idea of exactly what I do. Um, a couple of people have asked to see it, so I decided to include it in this one. Um, so yeah, I'm just using a 0.8 uh, Zig Millennium. It's a technical drawing pen, and I will put a link to them in the description. I generally only use 0.8s, but I do use other thicknesses sometimes. Um, someone actually asked me about that the other day. Um, because the link that I put in the description, it's um, a range of sizes and you never know really what you're going to want for your exact style. So um, I'm just saying I use a 0.8, you know, you don't have to, but um, they're good for traditional work if you want to do really simple traditional stuff like this. Um, but yeah, the link to those pens is in the description along with literally everything else I used in this video. Um, I've put Amazon links in so you can pick them up, uh, found the best prices. And uh, yeah, so I'm just kind of, uh, I'm, I'm not pressing too hard with this pen. I'm kind of yeah, giving it a decent amount of pressure, but you know, if you push too hard on technical drawing pens, sometimes they can uh, bend and break a little bit, the tips, I've actually done that before. So uh, kind of be careful with them. And uh, the paper I'm using is just watercolor paper, um, just standard sort of 300 uh, GSM Dala Rowney, and it's um, cold pressed or not, as it's also called. But um, I was actually thinking I could do a, a video just dedicated to um, different types of watercolor paper and what you should use um, if anyone's interested in seeing that. Uh, and also I was going to do another video as well. Um, I was thinking these two flowers at the edges, um, I was thinking what I could do is I could redraw them and kind of cut them out and do like some little individual pieces of flash and I could do a competition video where you guys can enter and uh, win some original artwork. It would be original hand painted, hand stained um, artwork. And I could just, you know, post it off to you if you win the competition. So if you think that's a good idea, let me know. Because um, I think that'd be something quite good to do. So uh, yeah, I'm now getting onto the uh, shading. And if you saw just then, I um, kind of wiped the, the black on a bit of tissue paper. That's because um, I refill these pens, they're refillable. Um, and that had a bit too much on it. So um, I just wiped it off and that's what you've got to do is dab it because otherwise it will drip on your flash. And I've done that before, just, you know, big drips falling on the page and it's completely ruined it. So uh, if you do have any problems with that um, or, you know, you just want to be careful then just check your pens before you start. Um, if they look really, really wet, just give them a quick wipe on the kitchen roll. It's a bit of a waste of ink, but the refills are really cheap, so it doesn't really matter. So um, yeah, I'm just kind of doing the kid's slug at the moment, and uh, the kid's slug, um, like I said, I will tell you kind of where that came from. It's kind of hard to find any information on it. I've seen him a couple of times, but um, I don't, I don't really know exactly what they're about. But the best sort of explanation I could find was that they were kind of tattoos that people who got when they were kind of born on the wrong side of the tracks. They had a rough upbringing, and um, they kind of had to, you know, fight to survive. So, you know, a child boxer is kind of uh, the best explanation I could find on it. Um, if anyone else has any information, then just comment and let me know. I'm interested about this sort of stuff, obviously. Um, I just thought they were a really cool design, so um, I decided to paint one up. But yeah, um, if you haven't watched my videos before, then these pens, they're Copics and um, they're brush tip pens, they're permanent ink, and you just have four different pens, well I use four, you can use five if you buy the uh, full set of, of uh, grey shades. And um, yeah, you just kind of put the black down, put the next one down on top of that which is slightly lighter, and then blend out with the last two into, um, into the sort of page colour. And they're really easy to use um, once you get used to them, you do take a little bit of getting used to, but they're fairly easy after that, especially if you do it the way I'm doing it, you just kind of lay the black down and kind of go across them, uh, across horizontally rather than trying to flick it out because you get little flick marks in it otherwise. And you can kind of scrub them over to kind of lighten the colour behind it as well a little bit and it gives you a nice blend. So they are really good to use. 
obviously you know you can follow these tutorials that I do um, using paints as well but they are a bit different but you know it still gives you ideas of things to do and hopefully gives you guys some inspiration on different things to paint and um, you know it gives you ideas of where to put the shade in uh, someone actually asked me about that recently um, where how do I know where to put the shade in and you know it's kind of with traditional it's guesswork it's just like, well, I think some shading would look cool there, so I'm going to put it there. You know, you don't have to worry. You can just be loose with it. That's the thing I love about traditional is it's kind of, it's just fun. You just go with it and just do what you want, and it usually looks good. <laughs> I mean, um, I can do a video, actually, specifically dedicated to that, like, you know, where to put shading, you know. But with traditional, it's pretty simple anyway, so if, if you want to see that, let me know. But, um, yeah, just because, like, I think a couple of people asked me about that, so... But yeah, now I'm just onto the colouring, same thing, using Copix. Um, and you can go straight over the black, which is good. Uh, someone asked me recently, um, they said they'd painted a, um, a, a rose in black and grey with watercolour. And how should they do the um, colouring over the top of it? And I just said, well, you can't. Like, unless you're using a permanent black and grey shade to do the flash in the first place, and you can't. Like, you just literally can't go over it, otherwise it will just you know, it'll water it down and it'll rub off, so that's why you want to use inks, either with brushes or pens, either way is uh, fine. So yeah, I'm just uh, going over now with a bit of brown, just to give them a bit of contour. Um, if you've seen my videos before, you know that I do this with uh, pinups and faces and stuff like that, so I'm just doing the same sort of thing on this guy. And um, it just gives him a little bit more uh, depth and he's not so flat then. Uh, Sailor Jerry used to do this a lot. So yeah, just going around his legs, and the colouring's almost done. I mean, it's really simple colouring in this one. I, I literally used three colours. It's uh, red, green, and brown. That's it. And, uh, you know, the shade in to give the variation of um, tone. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, like I say, if you, um, if you, if you want me to do the competition video on these flowers, just comment and let me know, because I, I don't know if it's a good idea. Basically, all, all you'd have to do is share my uh, YouTube link on Facebook, and that'd be it, and then you're, you've entered the competition. But yeah, anyway, that's done now, obviously, as you can see. And um, yeah, I think it came out nicely. I really love the sort of simplicity of these sheets. You know, just really, really... I mean, the flower on the right, it, it kind of um, reminds me of kind of folk art, sort of uh, a weird sort of um, flower from a children's book maybe that sort of illustration so yeah I just went really simple with this one and this that's the sort of flash that I love really and I, I love I love tattooing stuff like that as well so um, yeah anyway thanks for watching guys and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and um, liking the video helps me massively and commenting is always good and I always reply to all my comments every single one so uh, any questions just get in touch I'm here to help as I always say so um, yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you all soon.